Hi, this is the Price Action Analyst. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm having a look at uh, UTK. Um, so this was a subscriber uh, request. So um, as I said, this hasn't been around for very long. Um, the positive thing is this has been in an uptrend for a while um, and it's made new highs. So I've marked the support and resistance lines in. Um, so yeah, it's just been an uptrend. I've marked the trend. You've seen it kind of, it's it's quite volatile as it's moved between support and resistance. Um, it pushed out of this trend line here, washed resistance, came back inside, and it's pushing up. So. Um, you know, it pushed up in the context of these wicks too. So this support level held. Um, so if we go into the hourly bars, see that when it came back inside, uh, washed the support, came down to the support, uh, washed it again, tested the trend line, left a wick, pushed up all the way to this resistance, back to support, back up to resistance. So, um, you know, it's come back to support. Worst case scenario, I think this support level and area is probably going to hold. So you might might see it cycle back to excuse me, you might see it cycle back to this area. And maybe even wash support again but I think this area is gonna hold uh, excuse me I think this area is gonna hold and um, you know that's that's assuming it doesn't just push out of here if it comes back to support I think this area is gonna hold you'll probably see you know some push out of that worst case scenario and eventually it's gonna come back up to um, challenge is high. So um, the what I'm basing that on is that you know this is still very much in an uptrend and so my my long-term bias is up. Um, so you know only if we got you know substantial weakness there uh, and it started to come back inside. You know, even even if it did that, it's not really, I wouldn't really be worried about this until it pushed outside of this trend line, retested and started pushing down again. That That would be where I would be looking to get out of this. But, you know, this is very volatile. It's been pushing up. You've, it's left a wick there. You've had some weakness. Um, but it's left wicks here and it's pushing up again. So, you know, I think these are daily bars. This is probably likely to be um, temporary. So what I would say, um, I'm assuming that you're holding this. So if you're if you're holding this coin, uh, continue to hold it. If you were looking for an in, and it, of course, sometimes it gives me those trend lines and sometimes it doesn't. Um, okay, it's not going to give it to me. But on the hourly bar, once you paint that trend line in, what you really want to see is a push out of there, and then any retest of that trend line, you want to hit that as a long. So, you know, once you see a break. Uh, a confirmed break, which is a break and a retest and a push off of that, that that retest would be where I would look to get into this coin. Just let it sort of prove to you that the the, the uptrend was going to continue. Because um, again, it's within the realms of possibilities that this cycles down and out. Um, you could see that as well. But again, that's counter premise because the premise is very much up. This is in an uptrend, quite a strong one. 
so if you're in that i would hold it um if you're looking to get in wait for it to break out of this trend line to the upside and retest and hit that retest long um You know, this, you've had some volatility here, but this still looks, you know, price looks like it wants to push higher. So this, you know, in all likelihood will give you some resistance. You might see some weakness off that again, but, um, you know, that is the second test of that. So if you get a push up there, it might break out. And this, this market doesn't look particularly liquid, so... You know, I don't think those wicks are as robust as in a liquid market. But um, overall, that looks pretty good. I mean, if you if I would bought that down here, I would definitely hold on and just see if these wicks are going to hold or not. Anyways, I hope that's helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any further questions. Thanks very much.